the body holds tension sometimes subconsciously. You, you, it knows it, it can identify it knows you're holding tension, but you individually you never address those issues. You know what I'm saying? You know you hold tension in your jaws, you hold tension in your shoulders, you hold tension in your hips, and these are this is this is uh, you know facts. And if you don't uh, understand that you're holding on to some tension, then you're going to explode at one point in time. You know, and this is what's happening. This is what I believe what's happening. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just putting things in putting things in perspective. So I, I just hope that, you know, when you come to the games, understand that you've been under stress. Like, literally, go get therapy before you come to a game, you know, especially if you are like other humans and you have, you know, uh, maybe a quick temper or something, you know. You know, and, uh, so, and, and now we get to these games, it's playoff time. And playoff time, everything is turning up. And if you're a diehard fan – and add that with whatever stress you have, you're going you to feel a certain type of way, you know, when, when, when it's game time. You know, um, the other day I was at the game. I watched the Lakers play. LeBron got fouled hard. And, and I was like, ref, that was a flag. What the, what he did? You know what I'm saying? Even, even I was like, oh, my goodness, calm down, <laughs> you know? Um, so, you know, that's all I'm saying. Just relax and you know, maybe maybe go meditate before you come to the game. Meta World Peace joins us this morning here on the show in the wake of all this crazy fan behavior. You know, I wonder, do you think it's gotten worse that fans have felt more empowered maybe because of social media or other things where they feel like now they have more license to, to act badly, or do you think it's always been going on? Well, you know, you, you, you know nobody's perfect. You can't get, you know, out of 20,000 fans, you're not going to get 20,000 perfect, you know, people, you know? Yeah, it's the reality of the situation. So with that being said, I, I think everything is fine. I mean, we have some incidences. So, you know, I think I, for the most part, you know, um, Dame Dollar had a really good game yesterday. You know, fans were happy. You know, people were talking about it. But we had some incidences that happened, you know, uh, with some fans, and I think you know, in life, you know, things happen all the time, and it's gonna, things are gonna happen in the future. You know, I just say people should just, you know, keep enjoying the games, players keep enjoying, and hopefully we can minimize, you know, the craziness that's happening. So the thing is, with all of this bad behavior happening with fans, oftentimes there's clips of of your brawl with fans in Detroit that pop up, and. What keeps happening on the the roll is that you see you go into the stands and then those fans that were tough guys suddenly get real scared. They suddenly don't want any of that smoke. (laughs) They suddenly realize, "Uh uh-oh, I actually don't want to do this right now. And I wonder how many of these fans would do this if they knew they had to deal with Russell Westbrook in the street or they had to deal with Trey (laughs) Young instead of spitting on him or they had to deal with Kyrie Irving. Is that where the line is kind of ridiculous where these guys can hide within the crowd. But if it really came push come to shove, literally they'd, they'd hide from that confrontation. You know, I, I, I honestly, I truly believe they're not even thinking about it in the moment. You know what I'm saying? I truly believe that because even, even the fan that threw the cup of bear at me, right. And I go into the stands and, you know, we start fighting or whatever the case may be. You know, I don't think he, they were thinking about that. They were just in the moment, you know, which which I kind of love, you know. Um, like, that, I, 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 like, me and John Green, the guy who hit me, like, we're friends now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was very upset. He lost me tens and tens of millions of dollars. But, you know, with that being said, you know, I, I, as humans, you know, we, we make mistakes. And I don't think they're thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? I think they're in the moment. They love their team. And sometimes you do too much, like, as humans, sometimes we overdo it. I've overdone it plenty of times, you know, and it's just how can you minimize it? How can you educate yourself? You know, I, I, I believe that the fans that are getting in these troubles not only be banned, but they should go through, um, what do you call, not community service, what do you call when you're, um, if, the, if the judge gives you those hours, if you, you know. Yeah, community forget, service. Yeah, community service. Yeah, I, I yeah. think I think community service is something because when I know when I did community service and I had to dump trash for 100 hours, I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> I literally wanted to kill myself. I'm like, I can't make it. I can't make it. 
Does so that change your perspective picking up trash for for that probation? Yeah, it was. It was. I had to wash out garbage cans for a hundred hours. Oh my goodness! And I think, um, I think something like that would, you know, I think that's necessary. Honestly, you know, the community service um, and doing a bunch of other things. Uh, and you know, I, and I think the state should, you know, work with these professional teams. You know, uh, the guy, the guy touching the backboard—that's just like, hey, you know, you're silly, and you know, whatever. I'm not, I don't want to get. You know, sometimes I, it's funny. We come on. We all know when people run on the stands at football games and just start running and do, like, we laugh, right? So that's okay. Right. I'm not, oh yeah. Um, the spitting and the throwing the water bottle. Okay, that needs community service. Um, maybe a band and community service. And then, you know, the guy throwing the popcorn, that's really immature. You know what I'm saying? It, at the end of the day, it's just popcorn. I'm glad Russell didn't go into the stands for popcorn. You know what I'm saying? I think the water bottle, that holds a different merit. But, you know, the popcorn was just, okay, that's disrespectful. You don't even, you do not do that at the games. You know, it, those are three different situations. You know, spit, water bottle, popcorn. Those are three different, you know, levels. Right, of disrespect do you um, ever, and, and danger. Do you ever oh. talk to former players or current players, and they're all like, man, you were lucky. You actually got to pop one of them. We wanted to, <laughs> but we, you, got, you got the chance. Well, you know, um, actually, I wasn't lucky. I lost so much money. I lost tons of – and I lost every deal, you know, the next day. You know, it was just – I was in the moment. I'm a passionate player. You know, I'm competing, and I'm giving my all um, – and I'm and, and I was doing my therapy sessions at that time because you know even before that I was getting in trouble right so I started to do a lot of therapy sessions and I was working on it you know so I went to the scores table like actually in real time practicing what I was working on you know with my therapist but I wasn't prepared you know for someone to throw a uh, you know a beverage at me I, I, I we never we never thought about this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We never thought about this. So so then at that point in time, I just like, what? You do a beverage champion? No. <laughs> you know? Um, and I, 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 I really wish it wouldn't have happened. I really, uh, you know, I really wish it, I would not have went into the stands. You know, I was just highly upset. I, I just thought it wasn't fair. So you never sat down with the therapist and said, okay, what happens if a guy throws a full <laughs> beer at me and then comes onto the floor and wants to punch me? <laughs> you never worked, you know worked through saying? that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, now uh, you, guys should learn from this. When you're seeking therapy, go through every scenario. You know, what happens if somebody buys a McDonald burger, opens up the bun, and smacks me with a tomato? Right? Like, just go through all those, go through all the scenarios from now on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very specific one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you never, you never know, right? You never know. <laughs> Meta World Peace joins us this morning on the show. Your company, the Panda's Friend, has some awesome apparel. It's got great artwork on the front of hoodies and shirts and caps and tanks and what have you. So how is how is the art kind of set up for this, and, and how have you been enjoying the pandasfriend.com? I love it, man. So the pandasfriend.com is a brand... You know, that supports mental health awareness. You know, you know, and I won the championship. I raffled off my championship ring. We raised like six hundred and seventy one thousand for mental health institutions. That was in two thousand and ten. Uh, even during the brawl I was giving a lot of scholarships away to kids to high school. I was always involved in philanthropy for a long time. And the Pandas Friend was just a way to, you know, generate some revenue so we could continue to give back to local communities. Um, you know, right now we're doing it through sports. We're hoping to keep growing the brand. So it's really a basic brand. Uh, and the Panda logo is pretty cool. So if you actually buy a item, it's actually, it looks really cool on you. So, you know, if you want to support the brand, that would be amazing. Uh, you know, we just launched our first local uh, men's protein, um, and we want to do more of that, you know, around America and get into youth sports. Uh, so, you know, the Panda's Friend is a brand that just supports mental health awareness. And positive messaging as well. And you say you could just reach out and just say hello. And I think as you've just kind of the message has been try to work through frustration, try to work through anxiety, try to work through stress, stay positive, talk to people, reach out. If somebody needs you, reach out to them. And that's been your whole 
message for a long time, and that's been a pretty amazing thing. So the pandasfriend.com is a great business to support and a great cause to support. Mental health is so important. The pandasfriend.com and Meta's right. The gear is awesome. The the panda artwork is really cool. It all looks really, really cool. So I'm I'm a big fan. So I can't believe before I let you go that you're actually friends with the guy that you fought in the stands, huh? You guys are buds now? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we um you know, when when I was going through it, I was like really upset, like for a long time. You know, um, you know, was, you know, just really derailed my defensive player of the year. You know, I was going to get another one that year, and I was going to get another All Star, another All Team. I just made third team All NBA, averaging eighteen points because I was the best defender. Now I'm averaging twenty five. You know, I just finished. I just came in sixth place for MVP. My, my points go up seven points. Now I'm going to be, like, top two for MVP that year. I was so depressed, man, So I, you know, for years, you know. So I said, you know what, let me just get over it, reach out to this guy. So, you know, I got when, I, when we first spoke on the phone, when I got his number, his wife answered. She didn't believe it was me. It was really funny. And then he got on the phone. And then, um... I got out of, I uh, called him an a-hole. You know, I wanted to get that out the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, hey, Ron. And then he apologized. Told me, he told me what happened. And that was years ago. And, you know, it was good. You know, it was like, we're not like every day getting lunch, but it, it, it's cool, you know. Um, he was awesome. going through his own things. He was doing, I had alcohol anonymous classes and, he, he had different records, you know. It was really interesting, actually. You know, to, to actually, oh, wow, you, you, you really were going through things. You really are kind of, uh, you know, a little crazy, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. It was really interesting, um, you know. It, it, and, and it happened, and, you know, it was a, it, I thought it was good. I'm, I'm actually kind of happy about it. Yeah. Sounds like it turned into a positive experience and gave you some perspective and gave you both some perspective, which is – what we're all looking for in this journey of life. Man, this was so great to talk to you, Meta. Once again, thepandasfriend.com is the website to support, thepandasfriend.com. This was so cool to talk to you, man. I really appreciate you getting back to us so quickly and wanting to do the interview and, and spreading some positive messaging. So thanks so much Absolutely. for doing it this morning. Yeah, I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. My pleasure.